All right, so when you are out digging around in junkyards, it is helpful to have a little bit of vehicle knowledge because you never know when something is just super common, who cares, or when you've run into something extremely rare. So I've already shown you what in this video is extremely rare. Have you spotted it? Nope, psych, this right here. This is a 1976 dent side. Note the grill. Note that it has clear markers instead of amber. If it had this front clip, but amber markers, this would be a 77 where these are clear. This is a 1976 truck. What did Ford make that is extremely rare Nobody can really find any information on it. Even some gurus and kind of famous people in the Dentside community can't find shit on this truck. What is it? Well, it's a Ford F-150. Now you're thinking to yourself, that's not, that's not very rare. What the hell? Uh-oh. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight lugs on an F-150. Hmm. Let's look back here. That's an eight lug rear wheel. Ta-da! Eight lugs. So that's F-250 running gear. But it says right there, F-150. Hmm. Well, 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 what do we have here? This is an F-130. F-13? F-130. This is a Ford F-130. They made them in 1976 only. It's basically, so if you know anything about F-150s, they took the F-100, and gave them a slightly higher GVWR, like 6,000-ish range GVWR, to call them an F-150. That made them exempt from emissions. They started that in 1975. So this is, when you see that, what you're thinking is, oh, it's basically an F-100. It just has a higher GVWR. So it's basically an F-100 with a higher GVWR, but eight lug wheels. So it's like, three trucks in one. It's basically an F-100, marked as an F-150, with F-250 running gear. Very interesting. Um, don't have to believe me. Google it. You will, if you Google like F-130, F-130, in like a, Google like Ford, and then in quotation marks, F-130. And you will find that there's a thread on Ford Truck Enthusiasts that goes back years it goes back to like 2006 or something so we're approaching a 20 year old thread and even some of the most famous well-known most knowledgeable members of the ford truck community are stumped on these things they are one year only trucks if you go on fortification.com and look at their their uh vin breakdown cheat sheet you will see f-130 is a f-150 special it's an f-150 with F-250 running gear. This particular one looks like it is an NP-435 or 425, 435, I can't remember. Uh, transmission, four on the floor. And it has my favorite Ford engine drum roll please 306 everybody loves let's see hmm let me there we go uh, da -da. it is not locked up i don't know if you saw that Belt slipping pretty bad. Let me let me set you up. Uh, 
I don't really have a good way to set it up. Um, can I put you like so, maybe? Okay, watch right here, this is the crank. There we go. So you can see, she is not locked up. We are turning. We are turning. That puppy right there, turning. So 306 is not locked up. Four speed in the floor. So, I mean, what's really gonna be messed up about that? So this thing has good bones. This thing could run again. Looks like it's been off the road since 03. Pretty darn decent shape. Got some wheel well rust there, but that's like ultra, ultra common. Who cares? That can be fixed very easily. Long bed, regular cab, two wheel drive, F-130 with a four speed in the floor and a 306. This is going to be a awesome, awesome truck. This thing has a ton of potential. So... Uh, hang tight, subscribe to the channel, and let me order a couple parts. Looks like the spark plug wires were pretty darn ratty. Might get a coil too. Coils are cheap. But uh, yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel. You'll get a update later while I try to get this F-130 running.